I'm Tara. Welcome to Peace Through Plants, and this is Cooper. Today, I want to uh, update on moss poles that I bought. The plastic moss poles that are kind of DIY. You basically unfold the plastic and then stuff them with the moss yourself. I'm going to give what I feel about them uh, a little review. And then also... I have a couple repottings to get done and just some updates on my pest care and things that I use for that. Um, Cooper's getting ready to go to his next job, sleeping on the couch. Okay, but, uh, oh my goodness. Anyway, so if that sounds good to you, let's get started. I am going to talk about the moss poles first. I was unsure about these moss poles initially. They're like that in the back and in the front. Um, that's what they look like. I wasn't sure it was a good deal for me, but then I went back and I looked at my Amazon account. You can get four of these for $19.99. And by the time you put the moss in it, I guess depending on what kind of moss you use, I think mine is like six, seven hours a bag, something like that. It took me, I think I filled two moss poles with about half a bag of what I used. So all in all, it, it was a better deal. Once I sat down and really thought about it, and I do like how roots can actually root in these larger holes with the moss, other than the, the tight cocoa core moss poles that I was using. So I really am thinking I do like these and I'm probably going to order some more. I probably, I definitely am. But this is the uh, philodendron serpents that I put on here last, last video. I think it was the one before. I think it was the last one. But she had, she had leaf damage when I got her. Um, I actually got her from Equigenera um, a while back. But she's doing good. She's not a perfect plant for a moss pole, but I figured I was going to give it a go. And she does have a new leaf starting right there, which I'm super excited about. So anyway, that's that one. And she's doing well. She seems to like the moss pole. And the other one is this name that I'm not going to be able to say again. Philodendron Arubus, Arubus and Chocolate. Uh, I know I probably did not say that right. But this is the other one. I don't know if I had her on this at the end of my last video. I think I was debating it. I can't remember if I put her on there or not. But anyway, she's on it. And I like it. She also had has a new leaf coming out. Right there. I'll snap it off trying to show it to you. There you go. And I'm interested, interested to see how she's going to do on there too. But I do like it. It's a it's pretty easy to put together. You just snap these little tabs into those slots here and then curl it up and then stuff your moss in it. You can do it before putting it in the pot or after. It'd be easier for me to do it after I have it in the pot. Then I just stuff it in there and take like a chopstick or a kitchen utensil, wooden kitchen utensil and punch it down in there. Um, but yeah, that seems to, it seems to be doing really well. It seems to be liking the moss pole, so... We're going to go for that. So that's my update on the sort of DIY moss poles. I mean, you know, you kind of have to put it together yourself. But that's pretty impressive. And I guess if you need to put another one on it, I heard someone in another video saying, like, put a stick in here. They were making a different kind of moss pole, but I think it would work for this. And then you could put another one of these onto the stick and make it taller if you if you need a taller one so there's that oh and also uh this is an update on the unboxing that i did i think it might have been my first unboxing when i had the mystery hoya that i did not order um that came and i called equigenera and they did uh send me the one that i ordered even though it was a surprise to me, I, I did not know what it looked like because I didn't look at the picture. Um, this is a Hoya 
Marilli, is that how we say it? Um, but I love her. She's beautiful. Am I like blocking the light there? There you go. Very, very pretty. I am I like the way she grows. Like there's this group of leaves, leaves and leaves. <laughs> And then there's this group and I looked her up online and that looks like the way she kind of does it like ongoing too so and she has a little bit of sun stressing kind of there you go lighting is not the best here for some reason okay but she has a little bit of sun stressing but then she has some a little little defined you can't see it too good on there there you go a little defined Please, I don't know what's going on with the light on this thing today, but um, anyway, I thought she was very, very pretty. I like her. So that's the Hoya Marillii. If I'm saying it wrong, here it is. So this is the one that came that I did order as my surprise to myself. Actually, I ordered two surprise Hoyas to myself, and this was the one they had sent me. Um, a different one in place of it which actually died like two days after I got it here um, so this one is doing good I just have her in a chunky potting mix uh, that I normally use for Hoyas and she's and most of my other plants to be honest and she seems to be thriving and loving it so the other thing that I wanted to well this is an update too. this this came in my first unboxing, um, my Anthurium Claire, how do you say, Claire, I don't know, there you go, anyway, but she had some really awesome roots on her, this light is going in and out today and I don't know why, but she has some awesome roots, but I took her out of what I had put her in, um, I had more coca corn in the pot that I wanted to use just because I was out of everything else and it, it got very dense and I don't I don't like that that's the one thing I don't like about using coca corn if I use too much of it, it it gets it makes it like a heavy dense you know whatever and they don't like that so and she also has new stuff happening here but this one leaf here I am debating just to cut off because all that's going on I don't know why and theriums are not my strong suit they're so beautiful and I do love them and every now and then I I get some and some of them make it some of them don't uh, she's been doing fairly well so we'll see that leaf was kind of worrying me but maybe I'll leave it there for a couple more days and see what it looks like um, she doesn't have pests or anything. I checked that, but I did want to um, talk about because I couldn't remember <laughs> what the organic was the name of the organic stuff I use for pests. So I make a mixture of um, when I'm treating for spider mites or whatever it may be. Uh, I make a mixture of neem oil. I got this type of neem oil. It's a uh, it actually says healthier hair on it, which maybe I should give that a shot right now. It smells horrible. I don't care. I'll have frizzy hair. I will not put this on my hair. But it, my plants above it pass, so um, I'm sure it's great for your hair too. But anyway, um, it's certified organic neem oil because I learned this from Arroy District. He was talking about neem oils and some of them that they're kind of presented as organic and they're not. And I went and read the label to my neem oil that I thought was all natural and safe and it was horrible so anyway stopped using it immediately so thank you for that aeroid district for teaching me that um so i use i make a mixture of this neem oil it's like an essential not an essential oil i don't really know it's a i don't know what you would call this actually it's an oil it's the best i can come out with um but anyway you can use it on a human so it's it's okay and then I use the uh, Castile soap and I put a couple drops of, I put probably 20 drops of this, probably 10 of this, and then I actually put a little bit of alcohol and I put it in a spray bottle like this and I shake it up 
and then I spray my plants with it. And this is after I like rinse them off in the shower to, you know, get rid of any pests that are just that I can just wash away first. And then I treat them with the, the spray that I make with this. And so far, so good. I have had several bouts of um, spider mite attacks on my plants. I've had thrips once. Um, that was totally awful, but thank God it didn't get on many of my plants. And um, I've used it and all good. So I'm going to stick with it because it, I feel safer using it than the other things that that I, one that I was using and two, some of the other things are just, and if, if you want to use this, I think that's fine. No judgment here. I'm just saying me personally, I just feel more comfortable with it. So that's what I'm doing. But this girl here, she's looking good as far as I can tell. Yeah, everything looks good. She has some really strange, like not textured, but I don't know. Her roots look different than what I'm used to looking at, I guess. People that are in Ethereum, people might be laughing right now, thinking this is totally fine. Um, but I am going to, it is fascinating to me. So I'm just going to repot her while I got her out. This is the, I'm trying to show you again. This, I have to get a better system set up for my showing you when I'm transplanting plants and repotting. It's the same uh, medium I used, I think, in my last video. Perlite, which I love those big chunks of perlite that I got. Um, I use that and then the orchid bark mix. And then it has some, uh, it has little pieces of charcoal as well. And then the base soil is uh, Ocean Forest, I think it's called. And I'm not in love with the smell of it. But like I said, since I have COVID, my sense of smell is kind of whack. Um, hopefully that comes back soon because it's very annoying. But I'm going to, I had this in this pot, which seems really, really big for her. But it was her roots were so big, I didn't want to put her in something super small. But I am going to move her down. I found this pot in my pots outside, and I'm going to put her in this. Yeah, she'll fit. Okay. And it's a little bit smaller. Um, I did get... This came in for free and something else that was ordered, um, which I thought was pretty cool. It goes in the, to cover the hole in the bottom of your pot. It's a little plastic cover, so I'm going to put that on there so dirt doesn't come all through the bottom. I'm liking that. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to put a little bit of soil in the bottom of this pot here. And then put girlfriend in here like so. Definitely need a better system for this going um, I live in a relatively small apartment and I thought I was getting ready to move because uh, the house is changing hands, but we will see um, if, I, if we don't go through with that. Uh, I'm not moving, then I'm going to have to arrange a different setup for my videos. I have more room to show you guys better what I'm doing. So, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful holiday and a great new year. I'll take this time to wish everybody a happy new year. Please be safe. And I hope you have a wonderful new year. I hope we all do. And we're going to all work towards making that happen, right? So, she might need a moss pole. I, I'm, I'm totally unfamiliar. I need to, like, look that up, research it a little bit to see because I really don't know. But for now, mine are on order, and I don't have them yet, and I ordered one of those plastic ones. Yes, I did. So, when they come, by then I will have done my homework to see if she needs one or not. And there you go. Put that little tag in there so I remember who she is. That's her. She is a pretty, pretty plant. They look at that leaf. Is that gorgeous? Come on, light. Come to break. All right, there we go. Look at that going in and out. Is that weird? No idea. I'm still filming on my phone. I really need to get my camera out. I love that leaf, though. Then I have Peperonia 
quadra quadrangularis that I don't know if you can see that. That's focusing. But I have her in stratum in Lecca, which I am drinking now. I have put a few of my plants in stratum and I mixed some in the soil and they really seem to like it. So I'm pretty impressed with it. So I just poured that little bit back in the soil that I have here that has all the other things in it. And I'm thinking by maybe making a mixture, she'll be more satisfied with that. I have not had tons of peperomia either. Peperomia, if I have that right. Um, she's blooming. Those little darling blooms that they get, they're just like little sticks coming off of them. But she's also called, what was it? Melons on the string. That's it. But, uh, like I was saying, I haven't had a ton of experience with peperomia. I am, I'm basically a philodendron girl and the, the basic, basic plants that everybody's very familiar with, but I did, I did place another little order. <laughs> it's a little over 72 plants, well, at least from this one place, and um, it was from my kitchen area again. But I have a really cool plant coming, I cannot wait to show you guys. And I looked on YouTube and I've only seen one very brief video about this plant. So I am really intrigued because I've been eyeing this plant up for a while on their website and I have been loving it. And so I just said, I'm going for it. I, I got her the other day. And I also got another Hoya that I've been wanting for a while. So hopefully that should be here in a couple days and I'll show you guys what she is and really desperately seeking any tips or information that anyone has on it. Cause obviously I, I looked up a little bit and I haven't found a ton on it yet, but I'm going to continue to do my homework because I really want this plant that's coming to survive. I want them all to survive, but um, I really, really think I'm going to love her. But, so, this guy, I just put him in this mixture that I have um, with the ocean floor and um, perlite and actually stratum. There is stratum in here now and a little bit of leca. And uh, see how, see how, see how she does. And uh, I just got a notification on my phone. Sorry, that's what that crazy look was. So, is that it? Is that all I wanted to show you guys? Yes. All right. And I also was going to water my plants here today with you. Um, just these couple here that I repotted. And to remind you guys, um, I do use Super Thrive. I would like to try some new uh, other liquid fertilizers. I'm going to give maybe a, a couple go and see if my plants would like something different because I've been using this one for quite some time now. But that wraps it up for today, guys. Thank you for visiting with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would. I'd love to see my channel grow. And have a wonderful new year. Please be safe out there. And I, uh, I really enjoy your time with me. Thank you.